Hey Doomers and Realists, April 26th, felt motivated for a rapid-fire news roundup from the Doom Wizard himself. Population growth is the main driver of increased carbon emissions, study finds, by the Swedish Research Council published two days ago. The richest countries emit more carbon dioxide than the rest of the world combined, while population is only growing in the poorest countries. More on this in a moment. These are two widespread notions that argue for focusing on reducing emissions per capita in order to mitigate mitigate climate change, but this is not entirely true in the light of data from the last 30 years. New research published in the journal Sustainability. A dominant narrative in the climate change debate is that addressing population is not relevant for mitigation. This is because the population is only growing in the poorest countries. We just mentioned this way of reasoning is not correct. Our thorough analysis suggests that climate change mitigation strategies to address population along with per capita consumption and technological innovation. A comprehensive approach to the problem is needed. You don't say. Too bad everything requires oil to produce, including technological innovation. Moving on, I'm going to run through this just quickly because uh, I feel like it's important. I have feels the U.S. economy is slowing down, uh, sent diesel prices tumbling, box shipments trend in their worst depth since the great financial uh, crisis. That's a pretty big indicator of an excellent economic coincident indicator. Say that 10 times over. Layoffs loom in the U.S. manufacturing. Again, money supply contracts in March. M2 money supply contracting again. Uh, falling commercial real estate. I mean, you can drive in your own city and see the amount of empty businesses. Even the plebes notice when Bed Bath & Beyond is gone. Biden's going to veto the House Republicans debt ceiling bill and Janet Yellen says it's going to cause an economic catastrophe. I have a Houston, we have a problem. I have a hunch. Back to the oceans. Recent rapid Ocean warming ahead of El Nino alarm scientists. You can look at the charts on this. The recent rapid heating of oceans hit a new record high. They don't even understand why this happened, but they worry that with other events, the world's temperature could re reach a concerning new level end of next year. <laughs> Can't say it and tell you so. Warm oceans kill off marine life, leading to more extreme weather and raised sea levels. Plus two degrees. Up there in Maine and Greenland, Arctic, clearly, even off the coast of uh, the Cape, this coast of um, South America and Africa, even New Zealand and Australia. Look at this mess. Published Little Fanfare highlights a worrying development. Over the past 15 years, Earth has accumulated as much heat as it did in the previous 45 years, with most of the extra energy going to the oceans. You guys knew this. We just keep ringing the broken record. Just keep playing it. Does it surprise you? Does it surprise you? No. You want to know about our debt? Oceans are hot, and we are hot in the deep doo-doo hole of money. Okay? 31.4 trillion, just as a example of, you know, visual representation. Here's a dollar bill. Here's a thousand, ten thousand, you get it. One million, ten million, one billion. This is a trillion, okay? There's a, there's a jet. There's a trillion one dollar bills, right? There's 31.4 million of them. That's the Willis Tower of Chicago, right? Yes. Yes. We're gonna pay all this back, guys, in the next uh in the next decade. Don't worry, we'll go to war with like two of the largest superpowers and we'll just we'll just pay it back. Okay? We've already lost two key climate change signals according to the UN report. I think I covered this before, but I'm just gonna restate it. That droughts, floods affected every people on a continent cost billions of dollars in 2022. What? Don't look up, doesn't affect you. Right? Except not. Extreme weather is a nearly universal experience, according to a poll. Again, I covered this from previously from Earth Day. I th Yes, ABC also conducted, NBC, whoever, one of the other mainstreams. Overall, 8 in 10 U.S. adults say the past five years they've personally felt the effects of extreme weather. 
Okay. So you're not a global warming guy, huh? Because Thai authorities issue extreme heat warnings. This is going on four days ago. Bangkok, large swaths of you know, the country, 42 degrees Celsius. Wet bulbs. We're getting wet bulb temperatures basically already. Just a nightmare. It's a nightmare. And even large ponds, this is from fizz.org, can cool cities, but small ones make the temperature pollution worse. Okay, I'm not even going to try to understand this. But it just shows that large bodies of water in urban areas can be effective at removing pollutants and heat from cities, but smaller ones can make the heat effect worse. And I see these all over cities. Is Yeah. By 2050, heat deaths will reach 7,000 per annum across the UA UK. Scary stuff, mate. Right? It's okay. We protest. Climate change protesters briefly delay the E-race, leaving fans scratching their heads. It's an electric Formula E event. Uh, greenest Motorsports Series of the World. And uh, people ran out in Berlin, uh, Germany, at the fences of the Tempelhof venue. And they glued their hands to the ground. Because, yeah, it makes sense. It takes oil and gas to keep this whole shenanigans going, okay? Reality, that's the reality, and it's all killing us. And even recycling isn't virtue. Virtuous, it's making things worse. My ex-girlfriend was very adamant about recycling, and I tried to notify her that it didn't do a dang thing. Dang thing. But she did it anyways, because they have it's a virtuous thing. It's the negative footprint illusion, aspirational recycling. They gain more satisfaction from recycling, which harms and counteracts the minimal environmental benefits that recycling provides. It does nothing. They feel a warm glow for doing their part, right? Right. Well, it just land millions of tons curbside recycling are diverted to landfills, our incarcerators burned back up in the air. Recently tightened international regulations have made this problem worse. Just a planet full of trash. You think you're doing something. It's not. It's not. Again, majority of adults have been personally affected by extreme weather. This from The Hill. Also from the Associated Press, it was the same report. So moving on. Arctic ice algae heavily contaminated in microplastics. That's pretty yucky. Huh? Just all over the planet. Coca-Cola everywhere. Planet of Coca-Cola. <laughs> Bank of England economics. Economist says people need to accept their poor. Okay, have you accepted it yet, millennial? You little wagey? You got it? There's a reluctant to accept that, yes, we're all worse off. Inf inflation UK, 10% since last year. All right, just... just just accept it. You're you're a slave, all right. Get back to work. But you might be a psychopath. New research links childhood betrayal trauma to secondary psychopathy in adulthood. So yep, pretty not surprising. People were reported reported suffering betrayal trauma, betrayal trauma, and childhood were more likely to exhibit psychopathic and callous traits in adulthood disassociative experiences were found to mediate this association well there you go hit the bowl and do some meditation psychopathy consists of a set of ser of behavioral traits that are often observed together individuals these are serious chronic antisocial behavior lack of empathy bold disinhibited behavior that is paired with charming but exploitive behavior you know these people with the smile, the car salesman. Scientific studies of psychopathy have so far mostly been on antisocial, that is, characters of psychopathy, but it, is, it was typically studied in convicts. You know, that's a pretty extreme example. Individuals registered or processed by the criminal system. However, psycho psychopathy traits, psychopathic personality traits, exist to a different degree throughout the population. Can we put this on every billboard, like, in the country? Honestly. And we're not doing hot. U.S. consumer confidence falls for a third time in four months. Dipped again. Anxiety. Slowing economy. Yada yada. Same news. Broken record. 
All right, points, percentage points, numbers, numbers, quantifying everything. We fail. We fail the civilization test. The average American my age, however old Derek Thompson is, is six, roughly six times more likely to die in the coming year than his counterpart in Switzerland. This is a very long written article, but essentially life expectancy is failing. And the, it's much higher in the U.S. than even most of Europe, Japan, Australia. I'm not going to. American infants are less likely to die there, okay, than they are here. This is an ad block, so... Companies cost inflation is slowing, but shoppers may wait for lower prices. Consumer, wagey, you poor slave, you can't buy the Coke. We got to put it somewhere. Ends up, it all ends up somewhere. It goes there into the planet of Coca Cola. Indeed, very interesting. Much more study and too little time. Please consider supporting this work. I am turning off ads from now on, so there's a link in. It's very easy, in the description. My name is Reagan the Doom Wizard. This has been your April 26th Rapid Fire News Roundup. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Talk to you later.